gosh! Are you okay? Stay right there. Don't move. Help! Somebody help! He's hurt! Let me start out by telling you that my family and I take the attack against you very seriously. Especially considering that you are the World Heavyweight Champion. And to make sure it doesn't happen again, I'm assigning you a bodyguard. Bobby Lashley. A bodyguard? Stephanie, come on! I'm sorry, that's non-negotiable. Champ, did you see who it was who hit you? No, I didn't see anything. Whoever it was knocked me out from behind and ran. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there are only two suspects. Randy Orton and Batista. You and Lashley will be taking them on in a tag team match tonight so that we can keep an eye on everyone at once while we start our investigation. And speaking of the investigation, who do you think we should focus on first? You think you proved anything, you son of a bitch? Huh? Do you? What the? Nice going, man. Now let's get the hell out of here. But he's supposed to be his bodyguard. Somebody get some help back there. Taz, does this mean that Lashley was working with Orton all along, or did Orton get them after he was assigned as the champion's bodyguard? The only thing that matters is that the champ has been broken in half, and he's not going to WrestleMania. Hey, deputy. What the hell were you thinking yesterday? Excuse me? Last night, at No Way Out, you saw Batista getting out of JBL's limo, and you thought he was there to get to the bottom of JBL's plan? Who the hell gets to the bottom of anything in the back of a limo? Well, now that you mention it, I've had a few late nights with some hot... Never mind. The fact of the matter is, Batista's clearly a traitor, and I'm starting to think that you might be too if you're ignoring such an obvious clue. Randy, Randy, Randy. You've just never gotten past the fact that Evolution threw you out and took the World Heavyweight title from you. The same title that I'm wearing around my waist these days. If you haven't noticed. And you, Benoit, since you were paying such close attention to my actions at No Way Out, you probably saw that I took my lumps from not one, but two WWE Champions. And neither one seemed to be going easy on me. The two of us have been busting our asses trying to figure out who the traitors are here on Raw. Let me tell you, I haven't always liked this guy, but at least I've got respect for him. He's got more heart than you two put together. If you guys want to keep flapping your gums, why don't you put your money where your mouth is and meet us in the ring later tonight. Well, that there was a hell of an effort, guys. I think good old JR might have called that match a damn slobber knocker. Hell, I can't wait to see you two mix it up at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight title. Yeah. WrestleMania. Look, Steve, about the title match. I was hoping we could sort of... postpone that for a bit. Just, you know, until we figure out who's working for JBL around here. You gotta be kidding me. Postpone the main event of WrestleMania? The granddaddy of them all? What kind of champion are you, Batista? I tell you no, what. No! It's that damn JBL! He just took out Austin with the WWE title! Oh my gosh! The sheriff and the deputy are down! That damn Batista! He was a traitor after all! Orton and Benoit were right! I knew it! I've got a message for all the Raw superstars in the locker room. 
and for the millions watching at home tonight. You are looking at the new gold standard of sports entertainment. Together, the WWE and World Heavyweight Champions will form the most dominant alliance in the history of this business. And before long, Raw will be just an unpleasant memory. Oh no! What if he's right, JR? No! I can't believe it! I don't know how, but Raw's gonna fight through this, and we're gonna win! It wasn't enough. If that was truly Triple H's last ditch effort to stop Buzz, then this has to be quite the relief for Buzz to not have to be constantly. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. These three were just celebrating a huge victory, and now this? Ushiguroshi! What happened? Don't do this. Tough no! No, don't do this! That's what happened. AJ Styles is cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Just when Buzz thought he had friends he could trust. Here's the cover by Mr. Money in the Bank. Incredible. I, I, I can't believe what we just saw. It was nothing short of highway robbery. This is sickening. AJ Styles told Buzz he needed to be prepared for anything to happen tonight, but nobody was expecting this. Was that some kind of warning? I have no idea. In the last couple of days, all I have heard, why, Jay? Why'd you do it? Why did you and Finn turn on Buzz? Well, it's simple. There would be no Buzz if it wasn't for me and Finn. He wouldn't have achieved anything without us. When he was on SmackDown, he used me to get to the top. He didn't beat Nakamura in the Dome in Japan. He stole it from me. He didn't beat John Cena in a submission match. He used the calf crusher that he begged me to teach him. Then when he came to Raw, he was lost without AJ. So he became my burden. I had to bail him out week after week. And I was the reason he found his inner demon. He would have never gotten past Bray Wyatt, let alone beat Braun Strowman for the Universal title if it wasn't for me. But did I get any credit? No. Then we put everything aside to help him take on Evolution, and what do we get in return? Nothing. Do you see a trend here? It's always about Buzz. He gets the spotlight. He gets the credit. He gets the title shot. Not us. He was never going to give us anything, so we had to take it. Buzz, people love to rattle off all your so-called accomplishments and talk about how you have had the fastest rise in history to the top of WWE. Well, your biggest accomplishment is still to come when you main event WrestleMania and you lose to the phenomenal AJ Styles. And this time, there is no one to bail you out. You are all on your own. Yeah, the only friend he still has had his brain scrambled by Bray Wyatt and hasn't been seen since. So I don't think he'll be much help. No, he won't. Now, with that being said, I kind of figured that you people might not understand why we did what we did. So I arranged a very special guest tonight who can attest to everything I just said because Buzz selfishly used him to get to the top just like he did to us. Sorry, Natalia. Brian and I are busy right now. I'll talk to you later, okay? Now, where were we? Natalia? What's she doing here? And with a steel chair! She just... she just hit Kendrick with a steel chair. The ref didn't see it. One, two, three! Oh no, not like this. You never want to see a title change hands that way. I still don't understand why Natalia did that.
was the one who hit him with that chair. But as we all saw, she did. Joining me now is Natalia. And Natalia, I think you owe the WWE Universe an explanation for your actions last week. Brian Kendrick has been getting in between me and Mickey, and I'm tired of it. She's my partner, my best friend. Is she going out to romantic Italian restaurants with me? No. When she receives flowers, does she think for a second that they could be from me? No. Natalia, what is wrong with you? Mickey, I'm so sorry. I just wanted what's best for us. What's best for you. You know I'd never do anything to hurt you. I care about you so much. Let's just hug it out, okay? My best friend. How dare you? Different partners with the same outcome. Triple H's team gets the victory. Where did the animal come from? He's no stranger to Orton or Triple H. Batista to help sway Triple H to evolution. I told you I did what was best for me. One day, you'll understand that. by a former friend. You mean by Shawn Michaels or Triple H? Because it was Shawn who started it tonight. 